Hello students, today we are going to see how to represent root 2 on a number line. Now before I start with that, let's have a quick revision about Pythagoras theorem. Now in a right angle triangle ABC, if I have the values of AB and BC as 1, then what would be the value of the hypotenuse AC? Now in triangle ABC by Pythagoras theorem, hypotenuse square is equals to side square plus side square. So we know the value of AB is 1, the square of 1. BC is 1, the square of BC. Again, 1 square. So AC square is square of 1 is 1, plus 1 square is 1. So I get AC square is 2. So AC is root 2. Now this is what we are going to use while we represent root 2 on a number line. Now, I draw a number line such that the numbers are equally spaced from 0 to 1. I keep a space of 3 units. Again, 3 units and again 3 units. So, this is 1. 2 and 3. In this, in your case, you might keep it as 3 centimeters as the distance between adjacent numbers. So over here, I am going to draw 90 degrees at point that represents value 1. So you can use a protractor. I am using a compass over here. So take any distance. Draw an arc. So you may draw a 90 degrees at point that represents 1. Now I am going to measure say 1 unit and draw an arc on that perpendicular. So this is 1 unit. In your case it may be 1 centimeter. 2 cm, 3 cm, what have you have taken? So I draw an arc to obtain point A. So this is my point A, this is my point B. Let's say this point represents M. So now I am going to join point M to A. Now we have seen that this distance was 1 unit, this distance was 1 unit, so is this. So if I take this as 1 unit and you remember I have taken this as the distance to obtain this point A. So this was also 1 unit. So this becomes 1 unit as well. So according to the Pythagoras theorem, if the value of AB, BC is 1, 1, then the hypotenuse represents root 2. So in this case, if this is 1 unit, this is 1 unit. So automatically my hypotenuse represents root 2. So now I am going to take the value of the hypotenuse, that's root 2, and draw an arc to obtain let's say point D that represents root 2 because this root 2 is the radius of the curve and this point D now represents root 2. So this is how we represent root 2 on a number line. So in the next video we will be seeing how to represent root 3 on a number line. So see you next time. Bye bye.